Hey, how you doing? Uh, who wants to fire up a saw today? We're gonna see if this pulling 245A fires, idles, and behaves properly. Uh, made a few changes since the last video, so let me show you what I got going on. So there we go, the 245A. G is ported and ready to purr. Uh, I guess I, should, I, I haven't put gas and oil in it yet, but that's all right. Um, I put a bar on it. Check it out. Little baby bow bar. Uh, this bow bar is not meant for this saw, but I got it on there. Uh, it kind of works. I'm running into an issue with that, but I'll show you here in a second. Uh, if you remember the last video, the switch shocked the heck out of me. So I found an old one on another saw, put it on there. Let's see how that does. Let's flop her around here. Ah, I found a different muffler. Took some finagling, but I got it on. Uh, so this muffler looks a lot better than the last one. Now it's gutted, there's nothing in it. So do expect it to be quite loud. But that's it, that's the only changes. I like you. I like you a lot. Now, I did discover this handle is off of my 306. The one that was originally on this came up to this point and stopped and had a bolt headed straight down. Now, I did find a bolt here. So, through a little bit of uh, deductive reasoning here or whatever, through the obvious, um, the handlebar with the right size bow on here, because this is a little baby bow, but if you got the right size bow on here, it'll come out up here and it, hit it, it would hit the handle. So I'm willing to bet I'm missing a bracket from here to here that would hold that other handlebar. I might have to make something to get a bigger bow on this. I do have one. I just, I need to figure out some sort of bracket to go from here to here to mount that other handlebar on correctly. But that's the only thing left on my to-do list besides fire it. Make sure everything's functioning right. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to make sure she's oiling and uh, see if it's showing any symptoms of air leaks or anything like that. Alrighty. Alrighty. So I got it, got oil in it. I'm pumping. I can hear a little puffs of air, but no oil yet. Yep. Hear it? Squirt. There she is. We got oil. Alrighty, we got bar oil. Screwdriver in hand. Okay, switch is on, choke's on, trigger's locked. Let's give her a yank.
Perfect sign of it being a little lean head idle. We're on the low jet. Eventually it'll starve and shut off. But she sure is a noisy bugger, I'll tell you. Got oil everywhere. That's a good sign. Uh I didn't get to test the switch. That's alright. We'll find we'll find out one way or another if that works. All right? <laughs> Uh, little lean right now. That's all right, though. We'll get to that. Uh, it's hard to really get it tuned properly until you start putting it in the wood and bring it up to full temperature, if you know what I mean. I got bar oil on the muffler. It is escaping the clutch cover, it looks like. Definitely got oil. Hope that ain't fuel. Let me show you. Oh, you see, we got a little bit of oil there on the muffler. I'm thinking it's escaping the clutch cover and making its way down. I don't think it's coming from the airbox. See it running down the clutch cover? Just dripping on the tailgate. <laughs> a lot of oil. I don't think we're gonna have any trouble there. Let's pop the uh, air cleaner off just to make sure we don't got fuel inside there. We do have fuel in there. So, is the looks like we might have a leak at the fuel line. This fuel line doesn't clamp on there very tight, but you see the air bubble in there. See it? I'll just squeeze a smaller fuel line on there and see if that cleans that up. I think it's where it's leaking. I do, because it's not on there very well. It just barely. You can see it's pulling real easy. So I'll take and find some fuel lines one size smaller and throw on there. I should fix that. So far so good, uh, boys. But she's a good day today, boys. We gotta run her. Now we just gotta work out all the little bugs, you know? She's 40 years old or whatever. There's always going to be a bug to work out. Well, that sun's hot. Let me stay in the shade. <sighs> yeah. Now, it wasn't totally a good day today. Check this out. We did have one problem. Ready for this? Ready? My wife's car. Yep, that makes it for, that'll make for a bad day. Here, check out this, check out these guys rolling up the road here in the city. Here they come, I'm gonna catch them on the bump, drive by. <laughs> Definitely not legal. <laughs> They ride them around like they're, they're personal vehicles. 
Couldn't tell you how many times I've seen a cop go around looking for them. <laughs> I'm sure it's just a matter of time, you know. But, uh, hey, good day on the saw, bad day for the car. But, you know, I got people coming on Monday for the car. They're just going to come put a new windshield in. It is what it is, I guess. Whew, that sun's hot. Now, I didn't get to put many video out this week. I, uh, I'll tell you, my workload got, went through the roof. You know? Hard to keep up at this moment. Uh, they're coming in. The jobs are coming in extremely fast. Uh, so, as the... Yeah, you know, all the businesses are reopening right now. And because they're all opening at the same time, everything is coming in at exactly the same time. So for probably another month or two, it's probably going to be two months because I've already got the next month scheduled. So probably a good two months, maybe longer. It's going to be rough for me to put out videos as often as I normally do. But we'll see. Maybe I'll do it. Uh, maybe I'll do fewer longer videos put a nice long one together for, on the weekend you know maybe i'll do that we'll see whatever i feel like doing right <laughs> hey tell you what though we'll catch you on the next one all right later